Namaste Aquarius. Welcome to my channel, Lush Room Magical. If you're new, special welcome to you. I hope you won't be new until my next upload. So make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And if you're coming back, thank you very, very much for your time, appreciation, um, for keep watching my videos and, and supporting me as well. I really do appreciate that. This is a general reading for the end of January for the sign of Aquarius, placement, Sun, Rising and Venus. And since it is a general reading, I have to mention it may not resonate with every single one of you watching. Keep that in mind. Maybe not the whole reading, but a part of a reading. So stick to the end just to make sure to, to um, get the information you may need that get along with your story. Um... Even though it is predicted for the end of January, uh, the messages may resonate with you whenever you watch this video. Let's start. Let's start for Aquarius messages. I will be pulling four messages, okay? General, we will see what is it about. I will be also clarifying those. Pull some other, other um, oracles for you as well. So let's see for Aquarius. What this Aquarius needs to know, needs to pay attention, needs to be aware of. I hope you're well. I hope you're fine. And this, yeah, a little bit turbulent phase we are going through. Okay, let's see. Okay, you start with the major arcana, the hermit, under the number of nine. Then you have three of cups. Then you have the fool, another major arcana. Zero point. Then you have third major arcana, the world, 21. Aquarius, <laughs> what's up? <laughs> what's up? A lot is going on in your energy at this period of time and by the end of January, for sure. I mean, three major arcanas from four cards, that's, 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 um, something big is going on. Um, you start off with Hermit. It can be that, uh, as you enter the 2022, just with the start of January, maybe around the 9th of January, you start entering that mode and zone, um, of Hermit's. Um, there is definitely something that you have been manifested, that you were praying for, that you was wishing for. Um, with the Hermit, you gain a level of awareness. And with the Hermit, you're just waiting for your ships to come. It's like for whatever you have manifested, wish for and pray for, you, you wait to see it and feel it and taste it and have it in the 3D reality we live in. I will be clarifying to get more information about that. Then we have three of cups. I'm getting for some of you, you were wishing for a third party to stop. Um, it doesn't matter if you were the one entertaining some other parties and energies or the person you were dealing with. You were wishing for it to stop. For others of you, uh, you know, Three of Cups. Okay, let me put it like this. When I say, when I and the other readers talk about third parties, it's about some other different type of energies getting mixed, getting involved into the energy of a connection, of one connection. Um, I feel like a lot of you were actually praying um, and wishing for um, clarity to to know what it is, so you can actually know if you if you should move on or if if you should um, keep getting keep giving sorry to this person because I really do feel. This Hermit got to do with, with some specific in person and the connection you have with this person, of course. Uh, Three of Cups 
can be about celebration and gathering together, spending time together. Um, yeah, I, I will not talk much about that right at this moment. moment. We will see when we clarify. Uh, then you jump to the full. Then you jump to the full. It's like um, starting from a zero point. It's like starting from the bottom. You are taking a leap of faith. You are trusting the universe. You are trusting the energy. You are trusting yourself. You're trusting that what you do is real, is important, and you're just doing it, whatever it may be for you. Take it how it resonates, of course. It will be different for every single one of you. Yeah. I feel like uh, by the end of the January, you will also be brought to, you will brought you will be brought to that point and situation that you need to make a decision, and you will do it. It's like, you know, the fool is saying yes. It's actually Aquarian energy, as well as Aries energy, specific end. With the fool, you're like yes, let's start over, let's start again. Maybe this time around you feel ready because you trust. Even though the fool doesn't really think about it, the fool just jumps. It might, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be. Because with this one, you know, having the hermit and having the three of cups, it always depends what cards and messages you have in the surroundings of, of that one specific. And so... It's not the same meaning uh, for the same card every now and then and every time. So with this one, with, with this fool in your reading, with this fool, um, I feel like it's about trust. It's about trusting it. That's why um, you finally come into, into taking a leap of faith. And you have the world. You have some um, cycle closing off. I'm hearing for some of you, it can have to do with the karmic. Some of you have been dealing with the karmic. Um, it's it's closing off cycle. It's like you, you know, with taking that leap of faith and jumping into the unknown, um, trusting it already before you know what, what it can be, what, what it's the outcome. You're not even thinking about the outcome. You're like, okay, I'm going to do it because I feel... I feel drawn to it, uh, you will actually come into very happy and great position because you will be closing a cycle, which means the new one can start. So you're making room and place for a new cycle. The world is also, also about change, but yeah, it's, it's obvious that we're closing one cycle and opening another one. The change is happening. It's in process. Let's clarify. Hermit. Let's see about this hermit. Two messages. Very interesting. So a lot of you have Gemini in your chart, or you may be dealing with Gemini. You may be willing and wishing and praying for Gemini because, you know, I did a pre-shuffle before I started your reading, and uh, I have shuffled it now. Um, you have exact same messages as Gemini did. I did Gemini before your reading, and you have exact same messages together. But I can remember what for Gemini was having that. You maybe want to look into Gemini reading, Aquarius. 
there may be some messages, important messages you need to hear, especially if you're dealing with your money or if you are a cross watcher. Uh, we have beyond illusion and sharing. I don't believe in coincidences, coincidences, yeah. Okay, so the Hamid, I feel like in, in that mode zone, you have entered already. I feel like a lot of you are actually already finding yourself in the in the Hermit modes. You're not really participating. A lot of you have been disconnecting from, from this person of yours because of some influence of the third parties. I feel like you will, you will see beyond the illusion. You will get clarity you actually want. You will see it clearly. What is it? What is it about? You will see what you what you need to know. For in order for you to keep keep going forward and keep on moving, you also have sharing. I feel like whatever you may realize. Whatever may come into your mind, Aquarius, you will be willing to share it. Maybe through some gifts, gestures, communication. Just being uh, more open is what I'm getting with the sharing message. You know, being more open to share it in whatever way possible for you. Very interesting. Okay, let's see Three of Cups. What is Three of Cups about for Aquarius? So we have conditioning message with isolation. Some of you may have found out about third parties. Um, as I was saying, maybe that's why you are being in this mode, you know, wishing and praying and manifesting something better to come along, something you deserve, somebody you deserve, actually. Um, I feel like with the conditioning message, you will definitely level up, uh, find your strength and find your braveness. Um, you will not appear to be uh, maybe as soft and kind as this specific person uh, was saying you. I feel like with the conditioning message, you will turn the you will turn around the perspective how this person look at you. Some of them maybe maybe liking that, the others don't. But that's not your problem, right? It's always funny how people uh, be wondering why somebody changed the behavior towards them when they not, they they don't even realize it's actually because how you was treating me. Hmm. For others of you, I'm getting that you will be also brave enough and strong enough to talk about this uh, influence of, of third parties. It doesn't have to be romantic wise, as I was saying. Um, I said that in Gemini reading because Gemini also had... No. Or was it this reading? Gosh. Mercury... Retrograde really got me. My Mercury lies in Aquarius. Still, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, Three of Cups can be just um, interruption of some third energy, third party energy. That's why we readers say it like that. It doesn't have to be romantic wise. It can be, you know, family member, um, friends, 
um, whoever may be in your surrounding, you know, just getting mixed up. But I feel like with the conditioning message, you, you know better. Because you are coming. You're coming out of the hermit mode by the end of January, Aquarius. And by the, that period of time, when all this comes out, uh, you will be finally strong enough to talk about it. It's really what I'm strongly picking up intuitively, that it has a lot to do with communication, also because of the sharing message. And, you know, also saying uh, beyond the illusion. Um, but also with the conditioning, yes. Isolation. So I feel like with that one, you will take a little bit, step back, time for yourself. Um, time to observe what you're actually going through, what you're feeling, what you're thinking. I feel like time for do some self-care and nurture yourself because this is, um, it's going to hurt you, but you will, you will get through it, of course. You are an Aquarius. You will get through it. You will be feeling a need to isolate yourself for some while. For others of you, it can be that communication will stop. My music stopped. Like out of nowhere. Uh, so yeah, that can be a message for some of you. Communication will stop out of nowhere. Even though you you will be willing to talk with this um, significant person. Maybe you'll just let it go and isolate yourself. Let's look at the full two messages for the clarification of the full. We have leadership and patience. Some of you may be dealing with an Aries. Or you have significant Aries in your charts. Because as I was saying, the fool can be an energy, Aries, Aquarius. And the leadership, that is Aries energy, fire energy. Uh, I feel like you will be taking a leadership of, of your own energy, of your own life. Um, yes, we do have, you know, clarification for taking a leap of faith stepping into the unknown i feel like you will you will follow your intuition and you will follow your hearts and it will lead you to the right path it will lead you where you need to be there is a patience involved so you know it can talk about uh, divine timing closing cycles reopening new cycles I feel like some of you really do have something to do with Jemani. Some Jemani is playing a, a, a important role in your life. Or you may have it in your chart. Maybe that's why I'm picking it up. So there is a patience involved. I feel like even though you are taking a leap of faith and stepping into the unknown... Um, finally taking the leadership for your life and for yourself, Aquarius. Mm, divine timing is in play. We do have cycles, which can also talk about divine timing. You know, tick-tock. And there is a need for you to be patient. To have patience. Because something big is coming your way. You do and you're reading with the world, you know. Something big is coming your way. Playfulness wanted to come out. To come through. For some of you... 
there might be a message about being patient for the playfulness being patient about your playfulness or maybe finding the right person who will value that playfulness you you can have you can give and share let's look at the world Aquarius experience I feel like the new the whole new chapter will start for you with this world message especially because it is clarified with uh, experiencing something new stepping into something um, very beautiful very spiritual I feel like when you look at this message it, it, it has the very spiritual vibe that it gives to you very supportive energy as well I feel like a whole new adventure is actually starting for you. And you have a second fool. <laughs> One fool, this is the second fool. This is from another deck, Aquarius. You're closing a cycle by taking a leap of faith that will drastically change your life. And it's all happening by the end of January with the start of February. Let's see what Romantic Angels wants to tell you. I really feel like it's, it's a whole new life. You will get to start a whole new journey, a whole new path for you to experience. And you were praying for this. We started with the hermit. You were praying for this. You, you have manifested this, you know. You have actually manifested uh, the way you played off with these third parties. Uh, you manifested that however it may resonate with your story. Uh, apply it that way that it does, of course. Um, you manifested that way of happening and way of situations all along so it can bring you to the point of I'm going to take a leap of faith, I'm trusting it, I'm going to do it, it's totally unknown but it's a whole new beginning, I need to be patient because I am a leader and creator of my life and I will experience a totally new world, I will experience totally new experience and again taking a leap of faith and um, taking that change taking the step into the unknown this is very spiritual and very great reading Aquarius I'm happy for you keep it going Ooh. We have religious factors. So romantic angels do want to tell your love life may be influenced from religious factors and spiritual way. Also religious, um, how you were raised, that type of religious in your spiritual path. Very interesting message. Let's see, love universe message for you. I will be also pulling one. And then we will be having a look into some chakra messages for you. So one message for love. For Aquarians out there watching. Thank you for watching, <laughs> by the way. 
If you have not, please do like, share, and subscribe. It will help the channel grow. It will help me grow. It will help you grow. So we all have some benefits. At the end of the day, it is all about sharing. Caring is sharing, right? So let's see. One message for Aquarius. Wow, this is this is getting more interesting. We have karma is on your side. So love universe does want you to know karma is on your side. If it did some good, it's gonna pay off. Your patience is gonna pay off. I laid this message right. Um, From the up side um, of of the leadership and the patience message so it's like karma is on your side and romantic angels are saying religious factors so you know this talks about principles beliefs the way you were raised the way you grew up there are some roots that have a strong, I mean, yes, of course, have a strong influence on you and um, the way you uh, pursue relationships, love, um, love relationships, yeah. Let's see two chakra messages for you. Okay, we have first one is general one. You need some time out, some time alone. Um, you know, as I was writing this, I was thinking about healing process, spending some time alone by, um, by yourself in order to clear your head, clear your mind, just know how you feel, know where you stand. So you need some time out, some time alone is a message for some of you. Um, and we also have the message of a heart chakra and it's saying high expression of all signs, connection, Jupiter, Venus. So I feel like a lot of you, as I was saying, this is very spiritual reading and uh, this is a confirmation for my saying um, about that. This is a message of high expression of all signs. It's, it's very, very spiritual. It's a connection with the divine masculine, divine feminine. When it comes to one individual, the energies inside of you, maybe that's why exactly you need some time alone and you need to be by yourself to, to get in, in that kind of um, connection with your divine feminine and the divine masculine just with the connection into your divine. Uh, for some of you, you may be having Aquarius in Jupiter, Aquarius in Venus, um, or just look up these planets when it comes to your natal chart. Wherever it may be, there is, there is something for you. There is a message for you. It doesn't have to be in Aquarius. I was thinking about it since I'm reading for Aquarius right now, but it can also be in some other placements. Whatever placement it is for you, um, it is significant for your life, for your next phase of life, for this change, transformation, and taking a leap of faith, totally new experience, totally new, new life. Thank you for watching one more time, thousands time more. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope that it does resonate. Feel free to let me know in the comment section. If you wish a personal reading, um, I have it all written in the, in the description box. You can take a look there. Um, take good care until I see you next time.